Welcome back for another exciting Python video hosted by me, Professor Candido. In this example, I'm going to show you another sample of formatting in columns. So what we're going to do is we're going to ask for the measurement in feet, and then we're going to take that input, which is a string, convert it to a float, and we're going to tell the user how many feet and how many meters that is equivalent to. Now, a couple things. Right here, I have a factor for meters. If I wanted to, I could do a thing called a name constant, and we could call it um, metric or meter conversion. And we can, and remember, um, name constants are always in uppercase. And then I can change the code to go like this. And the reason we have name constants is because a constant never changes. This input can change, but the conversion from um, feet to meters will never change. Now also, can I do anything here to make the code a little smaller? Yes, I can grab this and I can put it right in here. So whenever we do an input, we take what the user typed in, convert it to a float and put it here. And that saves me having to do this. Now the next thing I want to show you is how to format it. So what I'm going to do is this is what we call a format specifier. It says I want a left hand, left justified, 45 character, 45 character goes across like that, column where we're going to put this out to the screen. And we're going to tack on to the end the formatted inches. That is a call, also 15 column positions. I should say not also, but 15 column positions. 1,000 separator, a decimal point, and up to four decimal precisions. And down here, I'm going to show you a different way of doing it. This is called concatenation. And down here, I put up the meters equivalent using the same uh, format specifiers. But the difference is I'm using the print with a thousand separator and not using the concatenation. Let's run it. And let's say, we'll keep it simple. We'll say 10 feet. And it will tell me the inches equivalent is 120 inches and meters is 3.0480. So you can see how we got this to be 45 characters, left justified, so everything looks lined up and neat, and we also get the numbers that match up. How I pull that off is with these format specifiers. The 45, and you have to enter exactly, and when I mean exactly, I mean exactly like that, no spaces, no anything else, just what you see here, and that causes the output to have uh, a column that is 45 characters across, and that keeps everything nice and orderly.